Florida at Texas A&M. And I do want to go ahead and pull this one up on the sheet. Uh, Texas A&M favored by three, total of 55.5 on it, so 55 and a half over at BetUS. 12 p.m. Eastern time. It's on ESPN. Of course it is because it's massive, massive brands. But let's go on and pull up the uh, the sheet here and take a look at, at what we're doing. My numbers have Florida favored by 2.3 over the past five weeks. And I'm a little shocked at that. I don't think the rosters are all that different. Uh, yet, Florida has some issues. Obviously, they dismissed Brenton Cox. And while that's a massive talent that's gone, sometimes that can actually rejuvenate a, uh, a locker room, right? You get rid of the guys that don't want to be there, any kind of negative energy, whatever it is, and, and it can help. Uh, you look at the defense for Florida, it's not great, but that offense for A&M has not been great either. They certainly showed much better against Ole Miss last week than they had in recent weeks before that. Connor Wigman looks like a real dude, but uh, but still got problems. You know, they can't really run the ball. Uh, they're number 39 in rushing success rate, but they're number 90 in PPA per rush. They can't finish drives. Um, it, it's really crazy to look at. Uh, although, I will tell you this, they have finished some drives. They've got uh, at number 32 in scoring opportunities per game, uh, and they're number 44 in uh, points per scoring opportunity. So they've been able to finish recently, but they just, uh, number 90 in PPA per rush, number 91 in PPA per pass. Uh, this is not a great offense. Again, they scored 28 points last week. Uh, they still have not broken 30 against an FBS team since playing South Carolina last October. So, something to look at here. Uh, Florida's defense is certainly one that you could get one over on. Uh, Florida's defense, number 108 in PPA per drive on defense. Uh, offense is number 50 in PPA per drive, even though they're not you know super successful. Uh, they're number 92 in passing success rate, but number 71 in PPA per pass. Florida's offense is number 5 in PPA per rush. But they are number 111 in rushing success rate. Now, you can run on AM's defense. And the biggest discrepancy here is rushing explosiveness. Florida, number one in that metric in the country over the last five weeks. Texas AM's defense, number 117. They allow explosive plays through the running game. Uh, Florida could certainly take advantage of that. So I, I look at this, you know, standard down success rate. Florida's not great, uh, but they are pretty good as far as the PPA is concerned. Like, it, it just huge splits when it comes to this. So, you want to talk about a game with high, high variance? Yeah, any game that's got Anthony Richardson at quarterback is going to be high variance. Uh, if I've got a high variance game, yeah, you better believe I'm going to take Florida in that spot. I will take the underdog, especially if I'm getting a field goal. Give me Florida. Uh, because any play could be the deciding play. So, I will absolutely take that. Uh, give me the Gators plus the three in this spot. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.